at the ancient time of glaciers, approximately 150 million years ago, a water stream began to flow south of Westchester, opening a path through the dense bedrocks toward the Bronx, shaping an exuberant river's greenway and creating a complex ecosystem. The Bronx River flows 24 miles southeast from Westchester County through the neighborhoods of the Bronx. It is the only freshwater river in the city of New York. For many centuries, the Bronx River held a unique and a extraordinary ecosystem with an exotic biodiversity of flora, fauna, and aquatic organisms. The river's water was crystal clear, pure drinking water, and the main source of sustainability for an entire ecosystem. A safe home for several species to procreate and spawn. The first inhabitants along the river, the Native American group of Mohegan, called the river Aquihunk, or River of High Bluffs. They lived for many centuries along the river's bank, which held a strong spiritual significance for them. They relied on the river's source of fresh water for fishing, hunting, and transportation. In the early 17th century, European traders were attracted to the Bronx River due to its abundance of beavers, white cats, and other furry animals as business opportunity in the profitable marketplace of furs. In 1639, a wealthy Swedish man and former sea captain John Bronk became one of the first Europeans to settle in the area. Upon acquiring the property, both land and river were named after him. In 1660s, the first water-powered mills were built along the river, and later, seven other mills and dams were built to manufacture paper, flour, pottery, iron, and other goods. The construction of these factories altered the river's natural course. These facts set the beginning of the industrial cycle along the river. With the completion of the Kinsey Dam in 1915, one quarter of the river's water supply was cut off. The construction of New York Railroad and the concrete transit plant turned the South Bronx River's bank into an industrial corridor. With reliable transportation and a booming industrial cycle, an escalating urbanization started to take place in the South Bronx. From 1840s to 1930s, thousands of immigrants moved to the Bronx to work. The immigrants lived and worked under unhealthy environmental conditions. The river was now used as a form of sewage. The lack of hygiene practicing sanitation and crowded homes were appropriated for the spread of disease. The increases in pollution had an extremely negative impact on the Bronx River. By the end of the 19th century, the Bronx River had turned from a crystal clear pure water to one of the most polluted water in the U.S. 300 years of human and industrial activities had destroyed the Bronx River's ecosystem. The high level of pollution in the Bronx River was impossible to sustain any species or living organism. By mid 20th century, the Bronx River was considered a dead river. In the mid-70s, a group of environmentalists and community leaders formed a movement that would change the Bronx River history forever. The process of restoration of the Bronx River 
began with the hard work of cleaning it and educating businesses and community about the importance of preserving its environment. The movement got stronger with the creation of the Bronx River Alliance. Several community leaders and government agencies committed to reclaim the river's environment and improving the Bronx community public health. Since then, the Bronx River Alliance has empowered and outreached the community to work in the process of the river's revival. Over 8,000 volunteers have devoted more than 83,000 hours to restore the river. A river that was once blocked with debris has been cleared of 700 tons of garbage, more than 100 cars and nearly 30,000 tires. Once a neglected eyesore, is now a source of community pride where people come to canoe, bike, picnic, and learn. And an eight mile long, beautiful greenway is coming together. The river is getting cleaner and more beautiful each year. The hard work into the Bronx River revival process has reversed from counting the number of cars pulled from the river to counting the new wildlife returning. The community has embraced a new social and civil responsibility to preserve the river's environment and work together to rescue what was lost by the mankind's ambition. The community mentality and behavior has changed and a new social perspective has been created among them. A sense of pride and ownership a lifetime change has taken place in the Bronx community and a new history of the Bronx River has just begun.